The Realme Pad Mini looks like a device which a lot of us in India can own. It's targeted at the 10 to 15,000 rupees segment. There's not a lot of products over there. Samsung and Xiaomi have gone and tried to compete straight with the Apple iPad range. And I guess this is in a league of its own, which is a lot more accessible, affordable. But the question that I'm asking is, is this, well, the ideal travel companion? And if not, then what is the ideal travel companion? Well, let's find out. For those of you who tune into the show regularly, you know for the last couple of weeks, we've taken the show on the road. We've been all over the UK. You saw the Dyson exclusive. You also saw all the things that we were doing in London with MG and the like. Well, at that time, this was the device that I took along with me, of course, with my daily driver, which was the iPad Air M1. Now that is the ideal device. In fact, I can safely say that that's a device that you can actually take and perhaps replace your MacBook or your Windows computer. I've done that. And I think within the Apple ecosystem, there is nothing better for me. It pairs seamlessly with the AirPods. It does a fantastic job with the Magic Keyboard. It is fast. It's powerful. The only little shortcoming with that is actually twofold. The first one is the fact that iPadOS hasn't really caught up with macOS, but I think Apple does that intentionally. And the second thing with that device is something that happened to me on a domestic flight. Then I asked myself the question, maybe this device is too big to be the ideal travel companion. If you're going in the Apple scheme of things, you come down to an iPad mini with M1, very powerful, but very expensive. What if I told you for a fourth of that price, or maybe 20% of that price, Android has an option, and it comes in the form of a Realme Pad mini. Between 10 to 15,000 rupees, 8.7 inches, slightly bigger than an iPad mini, or shall I say, slightly different aspect ratio from an iPad mini. Well, this device seems to be the right size, the right fit. It's easy to handle, it's easy to pocket, but how does it travel? That's when we did a deep dive in actually understanding what its specs are like. So for instance, when we were flying with the Realme Pad Mini, it was quite easy to hold it with one hand, watch a lot of content. I think that was quite a bonus with this device because it's big enough to watch content and it's much bigger than a phone, but it's smaller than bigger tablets or 13 inch MacBooks or laptops. So I think that's a sweet spot in terms of size. But that's where all the compliments stop. Because when you go in for an entry-level tablet, you're going in for an LCD display. And in 2022, especially on an Android tablet, when Android's trying to catch up, and looking at what Samsung's doing with all their display prowess, then you ask yourself the question that an LCD display pales in comparison. So my recommendation, my advice in this space is that if this device had maybe an OLED panel, it would be great for battery, and it would be fantastic for content consumption. That said, I paired this up with my Samsung Buds and I've used it on a bunch of flights, long haul, short haul flights. The display is all right. The sound is okay. It doesn't really lag if you are using an OTT streaming service. You can download your movies and it's great. Now I looked at this form factor and I saw the size as an 8.7 inch display. And yes, it's an LCD, maybe not the ideal, well, content consumption device when it comes to video or even audio. But then again, there's a device called an Amazon Kindle. And I see a lot of people who like to read books on the go, and even I do at times. But then often I use my iPad or other devices to actually read those books because I don't understand why I need to carry a separate tablet only to read a book. And that's when this one seems like an interesting proposition. Now you're not gonna buy this only as an e-reader, but that is an additional service which works really well with this form factor. You can hold it in one hand, you can switch pages with one hand, you could continue eating your meals and still use this. So again, the form factor and size really works to its advantage and I think that is a great use case for the Realme Pad Mini. Now when you're talking about this sort of a device, it reminds you of those Samsung phablets or that weird era that we went through. And yes, it comes in that size or form factor as well. It comes with an 8 megapixel rear camera, I think a 5 megapixel selfie camera. But then again, when you're in this price bracket and you're dealing with a budget tablet, I don't think a camera should matter to you because you have your phone with you. This is for another use case. Now, when we were traveling with it all over London, yes, there are scratches that have come on the surface. So maybe if you're purchasing this, buy a stand or a cover, which also helps to actually watch this. Because on flights, we've had a tough time placing it in weird places, but I think it's been an ideal travel companion, even at cafes. Sometimes when you want to just do some quick navigation, you don't want to use your phone, you're stopping in the middle of shoots, and all of a sudden, well, you have your phone, which is on charge in that cafe, and then you have this to do, well, content consumption, navigation, stuff like that. 
it really really worked the battery was also decent we got more than a day on it especially for our type of usage and i did a bunch of video calls as well games i don't think you should be playing on this because this is not hardware which really supports it i think it comes in a 4 gig version we had the lte version which is on the top end which is i think 15000 rupees you do have the cheapest version which is wifi only which actually comes for 10000 rupees and that's where i'm really squaring in because at that price point in this budget space it is all right if you need a tablet for gaming well then skip it you should consider other options in the space if you're looking at a tablet which is for basic home use or for you know something for your kids or just basic work and checking your emails reading a kindle watching basic videos not relying on in flight entertainment which the airlines give you then this is a great companion to start well your tablet journey if you're into something way more advanced and you have money to spare of course this can come nowhere close to an ipad mini with m1 but that's not really an apples to apples comparison so in this space if you have just 10000 to 15000 rupees to spare i repeat this is a great place to start if you like the video do like comment share and subscribe